That's, as much as That's the sound of gold. But. This metal sets the like standards for the industry. It means that this gin is objectively one of the best gins in the world. Fog's End Distillery and Gonzalez winning the first gold medal for their 17 mile gin from one of the most prestigious international spirit contests, the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. It's been extremely validating, I think is, is the word, because you know, we, we put a lot of ourselves into this. Winning that award like means everything. The success for cousins Stephen and Henry Wales starting a few years ago when they bought the company from Craig Packish. After retiring from the Monterey County Sheriff's Office, Packish opening Fog's End Distillery in 2008. Stephen and Henry taking it over in 2020. The history of the distillery still lines the walls of the warehouse with pictures of the original owner. Craig's background isn't in the spirits business, but you don't stay in business for as long as he did without doing something right. So on uh, a lot of our products, we try to kind of carry that legacy. Including continuing to make and sell Packish's award-winning Monterey Rye Whiskey. The cousins then adding their own recipes to the mix with their Whaler's Cove Rum and 17 Mile Gin. We didn't see any gins that we personally like, so we wanted to make something that we could enjoy. It's not just for mixing. You can actually drink it straight. It's California grown, produced, or sourced ingredients, so it is 100% California in that bottle. And their process for creating the spirits, long days, hours pumping ingredients through the still, waiting for the right temperature, and keeping a detailed log. All trial and error, guess and check, right? So I'll take for the gin, for example, we took like 30 ingredients. I distilled every one by itself, and then we tasted it, blended each in like ingredient together in different ratios to finally uh, come up with our final recipe. They say it takes about a year to come up with the recipe, but only takes about a week to produce it, pumping out about 240 bottles a batch. With two out of their three bottles now gold medal winners, Stephen and Henry hope their efforts to set them apart in the spirit industry continue to be recognized by all who enjoy their product. Most people want wine, most people want beer, and spirits are considered kind of a more of an aggressive or even macho kind of thing. And we're trying to show with our products that there is some delicacy to be had there. Take the time to slow down and actually enjoy it and think about what it is that they're mindfully drinking.